So let's have a little talk, shall we? Mr. Bet on you, back at you. Listen, this happened yesterday. I, I got this yesterday. Today's the first, but I got it yesterday. Let it sink in. Put all the clown emojis you want. Shill, employee, down in the comments. Pedro, what happened? Why? Whoa, whoa, top, whoa, top. Ass. Put them all down below. Let me. I want all y'all to get it out of the way. And I'm going to tell you how it happened. This isn't the first time, but this time was was more unique than the others. And I'm going to share with you why. And I'm going to talk to you guys about why it shouldn't matter how you make your money and what account you have and this and that and what programs you work. I'm going to give you some perspective. So for those of you that might be familiar, we did a Gig Wars challenge last week. I worked five days, 59 hours, $2,000, 1700 with DoorDash, 300, a little over 300 with Uber. And it was a great week. Now, when I started last Monday, my acceptance rate, I think, was like 62 or 63%. It's been fluctuating between 50 and like 60 something for the last month or so since I started really working DoorDash and trying some things out. I was not going for Top Dasher. And even two weeks ago, as, as I've shown in previous videos, I was gifted Top Dasher, as I call it, because of my shop and pay orders. I, I did at least seven with a 95% fill rate. They gave me Top Dasher for a week, told me you could dash now. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. It, it worked. I liked it because I just got it and didn't really didn't have to do anything ir irregular than what I normally would do. Now, I got it for the month of March, like I ended February with my stats, and it just organically happened. I was not going for it. I didn't accept trash. I just had a good week last week with some decent peak pays. My acceptance rate was climbing because I was seeing good orders. It was busy. I was accepting things that made sense and made profitability for me, and I took it, and it kept me busy, and I was happy. The only thing I did differently last week to really get it past that 70%, which I wasn't looking for it, and I don't... You know, I'm going to talk about what the real benefit is to having it now and and in a minute was I just uh, I adapted a little bit. I said, if I see orders that are maybe they're not two dollars or two fifty a mile like I like them to be. But if the cash flow was good, like if I saw a ten dollar going seven miles, I took it. And sometimes I wouldn't. If I saw a 15 going 10 miles, I took it because I like the cash flow. And if the merchant was a good spot and if I could get it done in a set amount of time, then it made sense to me. I didn't worry as much about the mileage because I knew I'd get orders that were paying me 20, 30 bucks going a mile, 10 bucks going two, 15 going 0. 0.6. I saw those. So I knew that at the end of the week, I was going to be over $3 a mile on average. And I was. So I knew the miles would add up overall. So I wasn't afraid if every order wasn't two bucks a mile. And DoorDash, when you, when you accept more, your acceptance rate will probably go up. And I had a little downtime with just DoorDash and Uber, and I was rewarded for adapting a little bit in a diamond zone, and my acceptance rate just happened to get to that point. I wasn't wanting it to get there, it just did. So while some of you go for Top Dasher, because right now the one true benefit that we can all agree is, hey, you could dash now anytime you want. And that is a major benefit for many of you guys. So don't, tell, don't let anybody tell you, you shouldn't do it, da, da, da. Do what works for you, okay? The days of listening to content creators, myself included, giving you an opinion on something they've never done are old. Those days are done, okay? In 2023, we need to show you guys actual, factual information, share our perspective, and then you make it your own. So yes, for March, I am technically a top dasher and I'm not mad about it. I'm not gonna cry about it. You guys could have an opinion about it. I will say this, I'm going to tank my acceptance rate at some point very soon. I'm gonna tank it in a diamond zone, get it below 50, and see what type of offers I get and work a full day or two or three or a week, probably, with a low AR and see, do I have as much success then as I did when I had it you know, above 50, 60, 70, and now it's 80%, right? And I'll show you guys that. Before I tank it, you'll see the offers that I get with a high percentage, and I'll make a video and you'll see the offers I get with low percentage in a diamond zone. Not all zones are created equal. Not every zone is a diamond zone yet. But I believe in 2023, a huge, vast majority, if not every zone, will be a diamond zone. And listen, I also believe DoorDash wants 
a mixed bag of different types of people that work the apps. They want some cherry pickers. They want people that have acceptance rate at 50. They want people to have acceptance rate at 100. Because DoorDash knows that if everybody had 100% acceptance rate, they wouldn't be able to make everybody happy. Think about that. If everybody had 100% acceptance rate, or if everybody was a top dasher and had a big, a big acceptance rate, there'd be less orders for other dashers at times because the orders are being taken quickly. But also on the flip side, if everybody was a cherry picker, that wouldn't work for DoorDash because orders wouldn't be filled as quickly and customers would have to wait longer. So DoorDash needs this mixed bag of, of, of different types of drivers, in my opinion. Now, in 2023, I still believe multi-apping is going to be the best option for many of you because the more options you have and opportunities you have on your phone, the better and the better you're probably going to do and the likelihood of you getting a good offer is going to be really good. But for people that only have DoorDash and maybe you only have DoorDash and Uber and you're in a diamond zone, do some adapting. Try some things out, okay? The way that we work these apps in the last couple of years has changed. And if you don't see that, you're gonna self-extinct yourself and you're gonna become a dinosaur. So listen, let me know what y'all think. I don't think I'll be top, I know I won't be top dasher next month. But like I said, in the beginning of this year, I was gonna try new things out and it just happened that we stumbled upon this top dasher deal in a diamond zone. But I'm gonna try new things out. Like I said, I'm gonna tank the AR, I'm gonna try this. If new programs come out, I'm gonna try them because I feel like I have a responsibility to show you guys facts versus me spewing a nonsense opinion like I have before and like some others do. I'm going to show you guys real information and that you guys could have tangible numbers so you could go out there and say, you know what, maybe I want to try this or you know what, maybe I don't want to try this. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay positive. Uh, well, before I let you go, March 3rd, two days from now, exactly, we will be at Curbivore event. It's a nine to five event. If you're in a downtown LA area, check the description for a link to sign up. $5 gets you free lunch, swag sponsored by Solo and beverages. And you get to be a part of the whole day event. We're having lunch with myself, Hannibal's Hungry, the Rideshare Professor Tortson, and Sergio from the Rideshare Guy from 1 to 2 p.m. March 3rd. Come check it out. Top Dasher out. Oh, it's crazy to say it. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.